Fala galera, tudo bem com vocês? Tudo bem com vocês? Eu estou bem. Hoje eu vou falar sobre a minha primeira carnaval, meu Deus do céu, gente. I know I did a video about Salvador, but that's not enough to cover this whole experience. I want to talk to you guys about what I've seen and what I liked and what I did not like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Eu falo português um pouco, mas para mim é mais fácil falar em inglês. Porque eu não sou fluente, eu sou básico. It all started last year. So, of course, everyone knows in Europe, I think all over the world, it's known that Brazil is known for carnival. In Rio, Salvador, like everyone knows that <laughs> Brazil has a good carnival. I told people I was going to carnival in Brazil, they were like, oh my god! You should know as a Brazilian, a lot of people are like super curious about Brazilian carnival. So many people that I know were so curious about my experience. People I haven't talked to in a while, they texted me like, oh my god, how was it? We want to know everything, we want to know all the details. And I'm gonna break it down for you right in this video. Let's start at the beginning. So Claudinha Leite, Mia Musa, Mia Linda, meu amiga, she invited me to come on her trio this year. Remember when I did the video with her, she invited me? Well, she invited me. So the first carnival that I went to was in Sao Paulo. Like, I remember waking up and I was nervous as hell. I was so nervous. There are so many stories about Brazilian carnival. Like, people are crazy about it all the time. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna go to like one of the biggest parties in the world. I'm like, <laughs> so I asked my friend, Thiago, <laughs> to come over, put a lot of glitter on my face because that's what I needed. Like, to survive carnival, I need a lot of glitter. And I was good to go. Went on the truck and let me tell you the music on the truck so fucking loud it was so incredibly loud i remember like i was on a truck there were a bunch of people we were like kind of like Ooh, and the truck was moving and like everything was moving people were jumping on the truck and the whole truck was going like this and i'm like oh my god after a while after like 10 minutes of like bouncing and stuff you're getting used to it because if the truck was able to fall <laughs> like it would have already been down so after about 10 minutes i was fine i was comfortable i was dancing i was having such a good time i love her music that's really good there was this huge rainstorm coming down and it just seemed like the rain was making the people party harder the people were crazy they were jumping in these rain pools they were they did not care that it was raining i have a footage i'm gonna show you guys on screen right now i have this footage of people going crazy in the rain you can see how many people there are you can see how impressive the brazilian carnival actually is and this was only in sao paulo i'm not even talking about salvador yet it is the amount of energy that you have and that you get from the people is insane so i had a really really good impression of carnival but um this was like in a square so it was not the real carnival that you have in the streets and i decided to see the carnival on the street i flew to salvador i met a lot of beautiful people there they were american a lot of you guys recognize them in the video yes theory and also lexi this was one of the best trips ever because we had such a fun group we had carnival and everyone just got along so so well we took amazing pictures we had a beach day we had like shopping we had central like historical center day it was so good so then at the night the first night it was time to go carnival i remember arriving at the carnival and being like holy there's so much people so, like I was on a truck so uh, I could see the whole boulevard filled with people like so many pipocas it was crazy and then you have like the trucks and the people helping like this organization is so big and this was on Thursday so the Thursday before carnival like pre-carnival on Friday the real carnival was gonna start I've seen everything I've seen people kiss I've seen people Kiss. At one time I decided to go down on the ground where the people really celebrate the carnival which for me it's kind of too overwhelming. There's so much happening at the same time. People going like this and like this and like this and like this. And I felt kind of, not scared, but I feel like I was kind of worried because there was so much happening at the same time and I'm like, oh my god, I don't know where to look. So the second day we went on a Camarochi, which is a VIP area, which is amazing. They had like food, drinks, free drinks, free champagne which is really good and I decided to go down one more time because a real carnival you have to experience it on the ground I decided to go with the group I had such a fun time Leo Santana was playing and I was like yeah. I feel like literally my body 
was overheated. I have never sweat so much in my life than I have on that day. I was drinking champagne and water and normally I would pee a lot, but I didn't even pee once because everything was just coming out of my pores. It was it sounds so disgusting. I have a video and I'm gonna warn you, you're not gonna be looking the same towards me as you did in the beginning. <laughs> Dit is pas hoe het hier aan toe gaat. We denken, oh je pizza is warm. Bitch, ik ben het bijna dood voor de Het is gewoon een druppel op. I told you! Disgusting! It's part of the experience, it's part of the of the being carnival with two million people. It's part of it, so I decided to show you guys. So after a while, I decided to go back to the Kamarashi because it was getting a little bit too crazy for me. Let me tell you that I was like there was no way to get out of there. Oh, I was cramped by so many people. I was literally standing holding my security guard like this with these long ass nails in his shirt. Like, don't fucking leave me right now. And people behind me were walking, but the people in front of me were stuck. So they were pushing me, but I couldn't walk. That means I got smashed, like smashed. I'm very sensitive for heat and I'm also very sensitive for fainting. So I'm like, you know what? I cannot faint right now. I cannot faint right now. I just, I just can't. Luckily, thank the good Lord, I did not faint, but that was the experience where I was like, holy crap. That was kind of scary. But overall, it was such an amazing experience. I've seen so many beautiful people dancing. The music was amazing. It was absolutely an amazing experience. I'm gonna give you guys some tips for those of you who are watching who have not been to Salvador Carnival yet, but want to go. Take a comfortable outfit. The first day I was in a really nice, cute, like fringy, white overall, but it was not comfortable because it's so hot, it like sticks to your body and it made it less comfortable. Because it's so hot, because you're gonna sweat so much, it's better to bring something really comfortable. Second of all, don't get too close to the, to the trucks with the artists. You might get stuck and there's no way for you to get out. So unless you like to be in a crowd, unless you like to be in the middle of something, and that's absolutely for you. But if you are more like me, who like to be, have like a little space around herself, then it's better for you to be a little bit behind or a little bit before the truck. Definitely not on the sides. That's where I was. Don't be on the side. And the third tip, and also the last, is be a little bit careful. We were with like 14 people and two phones were stolen. Mine luckily was not stolen, but be careful. Buy like a pouch you can put in your underwear so people will not go there. Well, not your literal underwear, but wear something like over your underwear, something tight that you can put your phone in. Watch a little bit about your belongings and don't bring anything too expensive. Don't bring a lot of money. Uh, it's better to not have a purse, but have like your stuff on your body. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much Salvador for receiving me in your beautiful, beautiful city. Thank you, Sao Paulo, as always, for having our vocês demais. Inscrevendo no meu canal, deixe o like, e também seguir meu Instagram. I hope to come back soon to Brazil. Eu amo vocês demais. E até próximo.